You enjoy spinning those bulky art yarns on your Magicraft Aura wheel. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could spin five times the amount of fiber on one bobbin so you don't have to keep switching out the bobbin every time you get rolling? And also, to have a really large skein so that you're not constantly being forced to join the ends during your knitting or weaving project. Enter the overdrive head for the Magicraft Aura spinning wheel. So what the overdrive head does is it gives you that five times capacity of a standard bobbin. So the way it's been engineered is that you don't have any difference in the treadling effort from when you were treadling a standard bobbin on the Aura. So even when that bobbin is packed full with yarn, you're still using the same amount of effort, which is really great, easy on the knees. I'm Jennifer Johnson, I'm with Whispering Pines Farm, and my husband and I raise a beautiful flock of soft Shetland sheep right here on the farm in Western New York. And I'm also an authorized Magicraft dealer. And I'm committed to holding inventory of all the Magicraft products right here on the farm in Western New York so that you, the hand spinner, don't have to wait to get the tools and equipment that you need to spin your dreams. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. I hope you find the information helpful and you can help me by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons beneath the video. In this video, I'm gonna be installing the overdrive head on my Aura wheel, and then I'm going to be plying some very fine yarn with a bulky lock spun yarn that I made from RU Mrs. Hughes. And I'm gonna take that yarn eventually and make a really soft, squishy hat with it. If you scroll down in the description, I've provided links to listings for both the overdrive head for the Aura as well as the Aura spinning wheel. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to install the overdrive head onto my Magicraft Aura wheel and I'm going to be using it to ply. So as I've told you, I'm doing my bulky lock spin using the jumbo bobbin. I've pretty much filled it up as much as I need. And then I have my little skein of lace weight yarn here and I'm using my Lazy Kate that it came with my little gem and uh, I'll be using that for plying. So I'm gonna be plying using the Aura Overdrive system. There is an Overdrive Lazy Kate, which I haven't installed yet, but if you are looking to um, ply using your Overdrive bobbins, there is an Overdrive Lazy Kate. The first thing I'm gonna do is um, remove my hybrid flyer. So one thing I will say is the uh, instructions for installing your overdrive head do not come with your overdrive head. You have to download those um, from the internet, from the Magicraft website or from my website in order to uh, get the installation instructions. If you don't have access to the internet or don't know how to download, just you know reach out to me and I'll make sure that you get a copy of your instructions. All right, so I'm gonna put this filled jumbo bobbin on my little travel cape. And to install your overdrive head, you're going to remove both of your bobbins because the entire head is gonna come off and it uses different bobbins. You're gonna need this larger um, Allen wrench to remove this JCB bolt that holds your standard Aura head on the wheel. Right out. In the overdrive manual, it shows the head with the two whorls installed on it already, which when you receive it, it's not like that. They're gonna come separately. So what you get when you when you purchase your overdrive head for your aura is the actual head, one overdrive bobbin, your brake tension knob, your overdrive flyer. Overdrive flyer comes with the pigtail slash delta hybrid orifice and your same orifice as you would get on your hybrid flyer, but then you also get this ceramic line 23 millimeter flyer hook. You get your two whorls. One is for the brake band. You can tell the one for the brake band. The very inside of the groove is colored black. And then your drive whorl has three grooves for your green drive band. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the overdrive head on and you'll remember there's only one way to install that. It has to be set up so that gravity 
will be used to hold this thing down and then as you need to tighten or um, loosen your bobbin brake band you'll use that when you install your head you're going to use the same jcb bolt and washer that you had on your standard head so you line those two white nylon washers you want it pretty much in the center super tight okay I'm gonna turn this back around because now we're gonna install the whorls the brake whorl the larger one has a threaded section on the flyer shaft for you to thread your grub screw into and to do that you're gonna take your tiny little Allen wrench we're gonna bring back the grub screw out of that inner diameter so we're not gonna scratch up any parts you can you can just feel here that it's not sticking out slide it on there and line it up with that hole you know you've got it in there correctly because it will allow you to thread it in if you get any resistance take it back reline it up and as we know on whorls you want those good and tight okay now your drive band we're familiar with most magic craft wheels the drive whorl i mean excuse me the drive whorl typically there's a flat on our flyer shaft there is not a flat on the flyer shaft for the overdrive head so first thing i'm going to do is go counterclockwise just to loosen the grub screw so that it's not sticking through the inner diameter. And I'm going to slide it through here. So like I said, in your manual, when you download it from the internet, it's going to appear as if this piece, these two parts are already installed and they're not. You're going to need to install them. And do not, as I said, don't look for that flat on this flyer shaft. It's not there. So it's big enough, the, the diameter of the shaft is big enough that it should seat in there pretty well without any issues. Okay, now we're going to put the drive band and the brake band on. Just like with the regular aura assembly, you've only got one groove on your drive wheel for the brake band, two grooves on your whorls for the brake band, so you can go tighter if you need to. And you have three grooves on the whorl for your drive pulley and three grooves on your drive band where you're going to use your green drive band. Then you're going to install your knob to apply you know the tension. If you need more brake tension, which I think I'm going to because I think I didn't install my head low or high enough, and you can always raise your head by loosening that JCB and bolt and sliding it. I think I'm going to be in good shape though. It seems pretty snug and we can adjust it later. All right, so now I'm going to put on my overdrive bobbin. The overdrive bobbin has got two holes on only one side. You can only install it one way. You can see the two pins. This is nothing, nothing new, it's just really big. <laughs> but if you assembled your aura, this assembly is pretty much identical. Okay. And then we are going to treadle on the flyer. Use your flyer whorl to tighten that. So your bobbin will spin independent of your flyer. Perfect. Just a little bit different from your standard aura in that you have a closed guide here that you have to feed your thing through. But you can use your 
open guide from your, you know, higher hybrid flyer. This is the plying flyer hook. You can always just take that on if you want to use that instead. That's no problem. It's interchangeable. Feed it through the guides. I'm, I'm going to use the Delta Flyer option this time. And then I'm going to start to ply with my lace bobbin and my bulky bobbin. You can order an Aura with an overdrive head installed on it as your main wheel. Um, that is an option so that you don't get the standard head if you think you're only going to be using the overdrive for your bulky yarns and um, more textured. If, if that's how you think you're going to be using it for the most part, then don't, you know, you don't need to get the smaller head. And you can save yourself quite a bit of expense by getting, you know, just the overdrive assembly and you can order your aura that way. And I have, I have auras in the shop. Oops. So if you did want to do that, that's no problem. We can set that up for you. I'm going to be plying, so I'm going to go to the left. It's not, it's not pulling in very much for me right now. I'm gonna need to um, raise up my head a little bit, but let's just keep trying this to see. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like I'm getting there. I'm gonna take all this off. So I use this, um, the yarn that I'm making here to make a really cute bulky hat and it's extremely cozy and warm and soft and I will put a photograph, I could, you could put a little Vaseline on there to get rid of that jerkiness when you're removing it. I'll, I'll put a, a photo of the hat here. Um, just I've just started making those and I just love them. And I use this bulky fiber for either just trim, like the just the ribbing, or I make a whole hat with it. Either way, it's super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna slide it up so it's more in the center. drive band. I'm using the center groove on my drive wheel and the center groove on my whorl. That works. Tighten it ever so slightly. Now I am going to start over with this and I expect to get a much stronger pull onto the bobbin. Yep, that did it. I think there's like a, it's throwing off a breeze. 